Hi everyone, my name is Sherry Gilmore and I'm the owner and executive director of the Acadia Institute of Oceanography located in Seal Harbor, Maine. We offer a hands-on field program to students ages 10 to 18 years of age in the summers. If you are interested in more information at the end of this video, you'll see the website URL and you can go there and check us out. We decided with everybody stuck at home, learning online, not able to get out of the house, it might be kind of fun for us to share with you the things that we love about the ocean. So our staff have put together a series of short videos to talk about their favorite topics. And here is our first one. Enjoy. Today, we ask you to consider the lobster. Lobsters belong to the largest phylum of animal, arthropoda. Approximately 84% of all animals are arthropods and include insects. To be more specific, they are in the subphylum Crustacea, where you'll also find shrimp, crabs, and barnacles. They come in all colors and all sizes. This video will focus on the top 10 things you may not know about Homerus americanus, the American lobster. Number 10. Anything that can kill an insect can kill a lobster. Lobsters are so sensitive to insecticides that if someone sprayed a can of insecticide for just five seconds in a room with a tank of lobsters, it's likely the lobsters would all be dead by the end of the day. Number nine, lobsters will eat just about any meat it finds and that includes other lobsters. Lobstermen banned lobsters not only so they won't use their crusher claw on a finger, but also because lobsters are cannibals and will eat each other. Number eight, lobsters were once considered trash food. When colonists first arrived on the shores of New England, they faced a problem people would wish for today, an overabundance of lobsters, which were literally washing up on the beaches in drifts two feet tall. People were able to eat so much lobster, they got sick of it. David Foster Wallace was an American writer and university instructor who, in his essay titled Consider the Lobster, he noted that the shellfish was eaten as common food during the colonial era in America. Because of its abundance, it was considered an insect of the sea, a dish for peasants that shouldn't be served on the tables of the wealthy and respectable. Instead, it became the staple diet for prisoners. Jailers were even forced to limit the amount of lobster they could feed their prisoners. The prisoners, it seemed, thought the constant lobster dinners constituted cruel and unusual punishment. It wasn't until the mid-1800s that a shrewd business person decided to market them as a delicacy, and now the American lobster is the most valuable single species harvested in the U.S., with 80% of that value at nearly a half a billion dollars and 120 million pounds coming from the state of Maine. Number seven, a lobster can taste with its feet. A lobster has three sets of antennae, the longest are like hands, and they use them to feel around for a good place to hide. The two shorter antenna help the lobster find food by sensing dissolved substances in the water. But it's the short bristles that line the inside of the pinchers on the walking legs, often called hedgehog hairs, that work as taste buds, so they taste with their feet. Number six, lobsters have teeth in their stomach. When they eat, food that goes into the stomach is ground up by the gastric mill, which has three teeth-like structures where it is ground and then moves through the tamale. The tamale is the lobster's main digestive tract and is considered a delicacy. Number five, lobster can reach maturity when they are one pound or about seven years old. From that time, the female lobster can produce anywhere from 8,000 to 40,000 eggs as they grow. The female will carry this brood for nine months, cemented to her swimmerette. But their task is approaching its end. The warmth of the shallows is speeding the egg's development. Two more months and the eggs are ready to hatch. Until she's found a safe place to release them into the water. Since the largest and oldest female lobsters can produce the most eggs, Maine lobstermen decided to maintain the numbers it was going to be important to protect those with eggs and larger females. This move has helped to keep the population strong. At first, they're not very good at swimming. But within a few minutes, the babies are... Number four, lobsters molt and eat their own shell. Lobsters will molt several times a year until they reach maturity at seven years. After that, they molt once a year. 
As they prepare to molt, the lobster will release as much water from their bodies as they can, which also releases important nutrients. It's a very sensitive time, and a lobster can die if they're disturbed during the process. They come out looking like a shriveled rubber lobster, but will quickly expand to be 20% larger than their previous shell. And they will typically eat their old shell to get back the calcium and phosphorus they lost. Number three, just like a tree, you can tell how old a lobster is by counting the rings. Only you need to count the rings in the eye stalk. Number two, Lobsters can recognize each other, and they do it through the pheromones released in their urine. According to Trevor Corson, the author of The Secret Life of Lobsters, researchers at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute took two lobsters who had previously fought in a tank and put them back in the same tank together again. This time, the loser of the first fight recognized the winner and backed down immediately and it appeared this effect lasted about a week. Even a blindfold didn't make a difference. However, when they collected the urine from the lobsters and didn't allow it to go into the water, those same two lobsters did not recognize each other. Which leads us to the number one fun fact about a lobster. They pee out of their faces. Specifically, it's from an opening at the base of their second antennae called a nephropore. This is not only used while fighting, but for mating. The female will approach a male's hiding spot and pee in his shelter several times, which helps him relax. This signals the lobster that it's time to breed and don't eat me. She then moves into the shelter, molts, and mates. She'll stay in the shelter while her shell hardens and so that she's not eaten by another lobster when she is a soft shell or shedder, and then leaves. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the presentation on the top 10 fun facts about lobsters. If you would like more information about the Acadia Institute of Oceanography, please go to www.acadiainstitute.com.